Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of my spring cleaning series. Last week I spring cleaned my living room, organised my cleaning cupboards and then also got some laundry done. So in today's video I'm going to be spring cleaning the upstairs hallway, the stairs, the downstairs hallway. I've got a new shoe rack that I'm going to organise. I'm going to be organising the cloak room and then I'm also going to be cleaning and organising the main family bathroom. I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I'm going to be launching in a few months for my new candle business. And I'm also going to be decluttering some of the kids clothes and shoes for donation. And I've created a spring cleaning checklist. If you want to download that and print it off, I've left it in the description box for you. And it's what I'm using to plan out my spring cleaning. So we're going to get into the video now. So these are all the before shots and everything needed a really good clean and organise. So I'm starting in the upstairs hallway and I'm going to start at this side of the hallway. So I'm going to tidy, vacuum and then I'm also cleaning any marks and dirt on the doors and the baby gate. And I'll be using my method all purpose spray and wild rhubarb. And when I'm doing a really deep thorough clean, I do like to start from one side of the room and work my way to the other side. Instead of doing it like I do all the tidying, then I do the cleaning, then I vacuum everywhere. I don't like to do it like that just because you've got things in the way, so the maidens would have been in the way. So I just like to start from one side, get the tidying, cleaning and the vacuuming done. So then I know that side's done and I can actually put things back. So then when it comes to like this side of the room, I can move everything out of the way and thoroughly clean this corner and then I can put everything back knowing that that's all thoroughly cleaned and then move on. So now moving on to this side of the hallway, I'm just going to empty the maidens and put all of our clothes into everyone's bedrooms. So 
So now I'm just moving everything from this corner and I'm going to be vacuuming and I'm also vacuuming the skirting boards, the radiator, sometimes you get cobwebs on your walls and on the roof so I'm just going to be vacuuming any cobwebs that are there and then vacuuming the dust off this frame. And then now I'm going to clean the window and the windowsill with my Method glass cleaner and my Method All Purpose spray. And then now I'm just going to put everything back here and I know that this side of the room is done and I can move on to that other little bit of the hallway. So now I'm just going to vacuum this little bit of the hallway and then also clean the doors and the skirting boards. going to give this basket a tidy and this is where I keep all my ironing and I'm uploading a video on Wednesday and that's going to be me getting through this ironing pile. I've always got a basket full of ironing that needs doing so I'm just emptying it out and cleaning it and then putting everything back in a bit tidier and I've also put everyone's clothes in a pile per person. <laughs> To get this slime off the wall and this has been here for months now <laughs> and you know when you've just got something in your house that you just kind of get used to i've just got used to that this slime is just stuck on the wall and i stopped even noticing it after a while so i didn't know how to get it off i did try and get it off when i first saw it oscar had just put some slime on the wall and then when he tried to take it off it wouldn't come off the wall i just put the method spray on it and that didn't really work so then i had to get a knife and basically scrape it all off so we are gonna have to paint over this patch now and now i'm gonna clean the handle going down the stairs so now moving downstairs I'm basically doing the same thing as what I did upstairs just doing a section at a time thoroughly cleaning it and then moving on to the next section and I got a few things for the whole way I only went on the IKEA website to order a shoe cabinet but because I've got to pay for delivery I always end up getting a few extra bits when I order from IKEA so I just decided to see what else there was for the whole way so I actually got this mirror and this plant and I got a few plant pots for the house as well and I really don't want to spend a lot of money on furniture for this house because we just temporarily temporarily living here until we buy a house so I don't know what we're going to need for the new house I don't want to buy anything expensive that we're not going to use for the new house so whenever I'm buying furniture for this house I'm trying to find something that looks nice but it's really cheap and this shoe cabinet was only £25 and I thought that was amazing and I thought it was going to look really cheap but when it came it actually looks really nice I really like it so we've just got this for our shoes and I also wanted this just to be able to store our shoes in nicely and also just so the hallway looks a bit nicer I want to put a wax burner in the hallway as well so then when you come in the house it smells really nice and I also got this fake eucalyptus plant and we need to put the mirror up so I'm just going to put it on top of here until we put the mirror up on the wall I know I should be glad
now I'm just vacuuming any cobwebs and dust from the doors and the ceiling. Now I'm going to sort this cloakroom out and this has got really really messy and it always does get messy. We always just end up shoving things in here and I need to go through all our coats and shoes because there are things that don't fit the kids anymore. So I'm just taking all the coats out and then just sorting all of our shoes out and putting everything nicely back into the boxes and I got these shoe boxes from Ikea and they're really really good because I thought they were really affordable and they're really easy to clean. You can see what's in the shoe box and when you're not using them you can fold them up. Now I'm going to tidy and clean this side of the hallway. If we maybe were mistaken, don't want to talk, don't want to see, don't want to feel it. What is left? I've been thinking about us and the things you say. How you don't feel enough to come share my bed. All I ever wanted was the truth, and I got. Now I'm going to vacuum the stairs using this attachment. boxes into the kitchen it's just a chest of drawers that's going in the hallway upstairs but we're probably not going to get around to building it just yet and then i'm just going to clean the hallway so i'm going to clean the glass on the door with my method glass cleaner and then use my method all-purpose spray to clean any marks and dirt off the door clean the handles and then also clean the radiator And then to finish off in here, I'm just vacuuming the rest of the floor. Tell me then if we never met, babe, if we never met. So I've put 
this wax burner in the hallway and this is just a sneak peek of one of the products I'm going to be selling. This is just wax melt brittle and it's in the scent wild rhubarb so it smells the same as the method products I absolutely love and then this is also one of the jars that I'm going to be using. So this is my logo and I'm going to go into more detail of just the whole branding and everything that I've chosen when I launch the products. But this is just a little sneak peek and nothing's definite. These are just the products that I think I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to tweak everything slightly and I'm just figuring out what exactly the products are going to be and I also ordered this personalised wax melt mould and I absolutely love how it turned out. This was the sample that I ordered to see what it looks like and these are ones that I'd made just to test it before I ordered some more moulds. And then this is the second batch that I use and I decided to add a bit of glitter and I thought it looked really nice because it just looks like it's glistening. And this is just in the shape of my logo which I loved. Then this is also the box I'm going to be using for my wax melts. I wasted so much money on wax melt moulds. I probably got about 10 that I'm just not going to be using. So I actually came across someone who makes them and it's a lot cheaper for me to just order personalised ones that are exactly what I want instead of wasting money buying more that I'm not going to end up liking. So I'm really happy that I got my personalised ones. So I'm going to keep showing you little clips of the products that I'm working on in all of my videos up until the lunch day and you can let me know what you think of some of the products as well. Now I'm just going to do some decluttering and I'm just going through Jack's wardrobe and removing anything that is too small for him now. I did actually do Jack's pants and pyjamas a few weeks ago as well as all Oscar's clothes. So I decluttered all the stuff that doesn't fit them anymore. So this is everything that I got rid of from the hallway and then I'm just folding everything up and I'm going to be putting it in one of those bags that you get through your door. So basically you get a bag posted three letter box and they're just wanting clothes, handbags, shoes. So I'm just going to be putting everything in this bag and then you leave it outside on the pickup day and then they come and collect it for you so it's really good. And I get these through the door all the time. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights So now it's time to sort the bathroom out and I'm just collecting all the washing from the bathroom. And this is my makeup cloth that I used to take my makeup off, if you're wondering. That's why it looks really dirty. <laughs> so I just hang it up on the shower screen to dry. And then now I'm just going to pour all the products and the toys in the bath and fill it up with fairy liquid. Because some products, you can't close the lid on it, so then water will get into the products and ruin the product. So I've left all the other ones up here that I can't put in the bath, but I just like to soak all the products in the bath when I'm cleaning the bathroom. I always use fair liquid to clean my bath and shower. I've done this for years now and it's such an easy way. The shower sprays can be really harsh and toxic in the air because I've got asthma. I don't like breathing in the toxins. So fair liquid is a really good alternative. I'm not putting loads of toxins into the air for me to breathe in. And it honestly cleans really well. It leaves everything really shiny as well. Now I'm just removing everything out of the bathroom so I can clean. usually wash one item at a time but because it's moulded I just wanted to give this a really good wash on its own instead of putting it with my other washing. So I'm just washing this on an intensive cycle and it got rid of all the mould. Now I'm going to vacuum the bathroom and I normally vacuum last in my cleaning but I decided to do this first just to get rid of any dust so that I can clean properly.
and I'm also vacuuming the vent which I never do so this is like a yearly thing that I do and just try and ignore the lights Ben's gonna fix them <laughs> Now I'm cleaning all the glass in the bathroom with my method glass cleaner. So I'm cleaning the mirror, the windows and the shower screen. Now I'm going to clean the sink and the radiator and I'm just using the method all purpose spray again and a cloth. And to clean the radiator, I cleaned it a lot different than what I usually do. I did quite a lot of steps to clean the radiator, but it's because I wanted to give it a really good clean because it's got so dirty and dusty. So first I've sprayed it with the method spray and anything that's really dirty, I always use tissue or things that are disposable just to get rid of the dirt first. I've just used some tissue to just wipe away the cleaner. And then now I've got a dish sponge and I'm just basically using hot water from the tap with the fair liquid so that I can properly properly clean where you can't normally reach with a cloth and spray and then after I've done this I'm just going to wipe everything down and get all the soap off with a wet cloth and then once I've finished that and everything's all clean I'm going to go over with the method glass cleaner and a different cloth just to make it all streak free and shiny. Now I'm cleaning the toilet and I'm just spraying everything down with my method spray again and I'm using tissue just to wipe away all that cleaner and any dirt and dust and then once I've done that I go over the whole toilet with my dental wipes and that's how I like to clean the toilet. I don't like to use cloths on toilets or anything that's really dirty. I always use hand sanitizer on my gloves in between cleaning whenever I'm touching dirty things. using 
some Harpic toilet cleaner and I normally always get the pink one and it smells so nice but I haven't been able to get hold of any so I'm just using a different one the only other one that I could get which is a lemony one and I'm not really that keen on lemon scents I like fruity scents a lot better Now I'm going to clean the bath. I just always use a dish sponge and the fair liquid again just to scrub all the bath and shower down. putting the kids toothbrushes into the dishwasher and also putting a new head on Oscar's electric toothbrush. So Jack just has a normal little toothbrush and Oscar uses an electric one but then I've also got just a regular one for if his battery ever goes just as a backup. clean all the walls using my method all purpose spray and this is like a once a year thing that I'd do on a spring clean. I definitely don't clean the walls all the time. The last time I cleaned the walls in here was when we first moved in over a year ago now.
Now I'm going to mop and I'm using the Method Floor Cleaner in Wild Rhubarb so it's the same scent as the all purpose spray that I use and the bathroom smelt so nice after I'd cleaned it all because I cleaned all the walls and all the floor with the Wild Rhubarb scent so it smells so clean and fresh. Now I'm going to put everything back in the bathroom and I'm also going to be refilling these two jars and one's for cotton pads and one's for cotton buds. So that's the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed and I hope it gave you some motivation to get your spring cleaning done. I just like to do my spring cleaning in little chunks so that's why I like to tackle a room at a time instead of trying to do everything all at once because with spring cleaning if you're going to be cleaning absolutely everything and underneath furniture just give yourself time to do it you don't need to do it all in one week. I'm doing a different part of the house every week just so it's more manageable because you've also got your regular tidying and cleaning that you've got to keep up with. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.